presentation, which is about technology and research for music notation. Actually, the, I will present mainly the, the uh, what we have done uh, so far in a working group about music notation, supported by a French association named Afim, uh, for association dedicated to computer music and. Uh, uh, the working group name is the New Spaces of Musical Notation. Uh, the members are myself, Dominique Fauvert, Jean Bresson from IRCAM, Pierre Coupri from University of Paris-Sorbonne, and Yann Jesselin from uh, INAGRON. And uh, we organized all these events with also the collaboration of Richard Rodley from Anglia Ruskin University. So the main uh, um, Motivation behind all of uh, this relies on the idea that we are uh, witness and actors of major change in the way uh, uh, we use computer music, computers for music notation, and thus uh, the way music notation is used for artistic creation. And uh, so, until recently, the support provided by computer music to, to, to the field of music notation remain fairly conventional and uh, but however some recent application show that uh, this field starts to be mature enough to, uh, um, to reach a maturation level to support new forms of representation and so the new forms of uh, artistic creation based on digi digital scores and so in to, to, the aim of the working group is to, to investigate this musical, sh musical notation field and to make an assessment of, uh, of uh, uh, the music score mutation induced by the contemporary <coughs> music creation and uh, to report uh, on the state of the art of musical tools for music creation. And so far we have organized uh, uh, several uh, seminars. Uh, this one is the fifth one. To, uh, um, and. Uh, uh, in order to collect resources uh, um, in, in the field of music notation, resources means uh, IDs, tools, uh, links, etc. And so, uh, what I will show you is actually all the tools and IDs and problematics we have uh, run across so far. And I will start with concrete examples. Uh, with mobile scores, we also wish we saw uh, this morning more of these interesting things. A mobile score, this is a score from uh, Mike Solomon, uh, a piece named uh, Pachi de Autobot, which was uh, one of the ten pieces composed uh, uh, for a music school in France. And uh, uh, according to Mike Solomon, the piece was a way to explore how the placement of uh, the musical symbols uh, affects our reading of uh, the music score. And the score was designed using Lilypond and uh, the SVG backend and uh, the Python language. Another example, this piece is uh, the name light, is Light Music, a piece from Thierry de May. Uh, actually, a piece uh, for video projection and interactive system created in 2004 by Jean Geoffroy. Actually, it's, um, the hands are in, in the light and the movement of the hands are captured and it generates uh, the sound. And both the, the video, which is actually the, the, the trace of the hands movement. Uh, so, how this very technical performance can be transmitted to another performance, that's a real question. Uh, and since the question of the notation that had been solved this way in, in, in the first version, but uh, I know that Thierry May has reworked the, 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 the score and uh, I, don't, I don't have uh, the, the last version, but I know also that other performers have been uh, have performed the piece, which is not obvious. Um, another example of uh, music score used with this piece is named Miroir Distant from uh, Jean Baptiste Barrière. Uh, this piece is a virtual concert for, for the internet, and two musicians are in two different places. One, actually, it has been premiered in, in Lyon. Uh, uh, in March, and one musician was in New York, the other one in New York. 
and uh, they meet in the virtual space of uh, a visual and sonic installation named uh, Le Jardin des Songes, in English, the Garden of Dreams. And uh, um, they share a score that is given uh, dynamically and that they discover uh, and, and read in real time. Um, so, and, and to me, the visual installation and the music scope are presented to gaze on, and the context of the scope presentation uh, contributes to the score uh, explicitly. The system was designed using a combination of uh, InScore, MaxMSP, and G2. Another example with uh, a very nice uh, software, Yanix, designed by Terry Colmis. And this example is uh, taken from uh, World Exhibition 2012 in Korea, and uh, where the uh, artist Charles de Moore has realized the content of uh, a digital gallery. And he's created an installation where the visitor was immersed uh, into projection and, of, and sound specializations. And everything has been made uh, using this software, Yanix. Yanix has been uh, uh, designed by Thierry Coduis and it's a software that is in line with the EPIC, EPIC uh, created by Yanis um, uh, Zenakis. And to me this software is a very, rich, very original approach to notate and manipulate uh, the time. And it's this example, the software manipulates both the visual content and uh, the specialization. So, specialization is uh, one of the emergent domains uh, where a suitable representation is, is needed both uh, to control the specialization process but also uh, to compose with, with the space uh, as well. And here is an approach uh, proposed by uh, Olophone, a software created by Laurent Potier. And this approach is clearly directed to um, uh, control whether than as a uh, composing tool. Um, but there are numerous approaches to uh, the issues raised by specialization. One of them is the score extension, and here is that's a proposal made by uh, Bertrand Merlier to use the classical music notation to represent specialization um, and to describe uh, uh, sound movements uh, in time. Uh, the score extension strategy is, is, um, is investigated in, in many domains. Uh, here is an example in, for scratch notation where we, uh, it's needed to, to represent the samples, position in samples, uh, movements, photos, etc. And where well, the notation has been extended uh, using colors here. Colors are represented position in the samples. So Nodes direction are representing uh, movements. And so, more generally, now we have uh, a problem with all the devices that embed sensors and uh, that are used as musical instruments here. Um, I think we are still at the middle age of the music notation. And uh, we have very basic description. Here is an example of, uh, uh, I, I, I can't say that it's a real notation, it's uh, also a user manual or um, indication to how to use small devices uh, to make music and provide, um, proposed by a um, company named Phonoton. But in a real context, the situation is not better. Here, this is the music score of a piece for harp and uh, smartphone ensembles. Uh, composed by Xavier Garcia, mm -hmm. and uh, so that's the level zero of the notation, and here is the, re the result just to give you uh, an idea of what is written. To, uh, with the combination of acoustic and music instruments as we have also seen this morning. 
and uh, we have seen some proposal like uh, the one from Marion Schumacher who proposed with OM Pursuit a, a visualization, a kind of visualization of musical content in uh, an audio signal. Another example of uh, the form that the notation can take uh, that we have seen this morning with uh, um, uh, a tonnet's representation and uh, interactive paper. So, I'll stop there with all this enumeration. We've seen more interesting things, approaches uh, regarding uh, music notation uh, so far. Uh, and at this stage, uh, I'd like to, to, have, to build a kind of map that was the, uh, an initial plan with uh, this workshop, to have a map of all the notation system and uh, uh, to get a kind of synthetic view, uh, uh, which is not really obvious, because actually we may consider notation by purpose, for example, an engraving, where we could put finale, Sibelius, uh, Lillipond, uh, uh, one known software, but we can also, uh, we have also in category with programming or visual programming with open music, back, max score, etc. Um, on uh, the uh, analysis uh, uh, field, we have E analysis or I analysis. And dynamic notation, we could put in score, JMSL, Leo, Creamy, etc. Uh, the acousmograph in score for pure representation, for example, like for uh, electroacoustic pieces. We could also consider notation by a uh, form, uh, symbolic form, for example, where we can put again the uh, Sibelius final, ENP also, ascograph, etc. Um, but we could also consider tools for graphic score where we could add also sonic visual visual textual representation we have numerous textual representations uh, so far and auditory I don't have any example of that plan that have been, has been presented this morning by Sandy, Sandy Bagwati we have also to consider new challenges uh, uh, like for mixed music this one is, is posed for, for years, but for interaction, how to write for new instruments, how to write gestures, how to write for space. We have also new deployment challenges, uh, uh, how to uh, deploy music score over the web or tablets, or why not Google Glass, or smartphones, uh, etc. So, Putting everything in this category is not trivial, and um, there are so. And this proposed category are just some views of music notation, and there are, we know that many other interesting views. Uh, but here, what's missing is the basic functions of the uh, music notation. I mean, the preservation and the transmission. And on the digital side, transmission is at the heart of the uh, of many questions, and there is a clear uh, degradation on, on the preservation uh, side, Notab notably due to the fast uh, technological evolutions and obsolescence of both the software and the hardware. Well, so that's what we are investigating uh, in, in this uh, working group uh, about music notations and what we want to do is to put all, uh, all, all okay to gather resources and we have put everything online on this website um, and um, we have also created a mailing list about music notation and since we uh, really think that uh, um, the domain is really mature now uh, and uh, the, this morning workshop and this afternoon seminar confirm what we think about that and we have decided also to create an internal uh, conference on music notation and representation and we'll, uh, we will talk about that uh, uh, 
more precisely at the end of uh, this uh, seminar. So that's all for my part. Uh, let's see if any questions.